Hi guys, welcome back to another Rise of a Tomb Raider collectible walkthrough. Um, I'm starting off where I last left the video, which is right here at the tomb. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my way through. Let me show you guys what I'm going to do with uh, these pu this puzzle in this tomb, basically. So I'm making my way through. We have the rebreather, we can go through here now and get this taken care of. Okay, I'm gonna go this way over here. There's some crafting stuff over here, so I'm making my way over here. I just want to get close enough to where that water is not going to hit you from behind. And then I'm just going to go like that. And then we've got a, um, there we go. Do that right there to unlock that fast shovel point. Okay. There we go. Here's a relic right here. A scroll case. So we're going to examine it. With ivory and gems. Inter okay. Okay. Now I'm going to jump over that. And then I'm going to go this direction. Because there is a document right here. The dead. Pick that up. Okay, so now we're going to make our way this way. Just come right through here. Okay, so we got some water here we're going to dive. It's a bathhouse. So here we go. This is called Bass of the K Katesh Tomb. This is like the last uh, tomb in the valley, basically. So we're going to hook uh, a rope line to that. And we're just going to turn this. Which helps us move the boat. Okay. So now we're going to hook over here. And we're going to move this direction. So you want to move this direction first. This is the first direction you want to move to. So we're going to jump across. Okay. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to pull this. Just pull as far as it can go. To get this water to drain. Want it to drain as far far down as it can. Damn. Now we're gonna hook gonna stay. Oh, a rope way to that and we're gonna make our way across really quickly before the water gets uh, completely up again. There yes. we go. That'll hold it in place. So now we can go back to the boat. And we're gonna there we go. How I landed on that perfectly, but I did. Okay, I'm gonna go hook onto that, and now we're gonna turn the boat the opposite direction. Okay, now we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna get this map. So many dead. What happened here? Let's see what this map reveals. Okay, we've got some documents and some relics that just revealed. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're gonna jump down. We're gonna jump down onto here. Okay. And we're gonna swim. We're gonna swim here. And we're gonna pop up here. And we're gonna um, lower the water level. Because we can't see the boat from here. Because we have to hook onto the boat and then swim back, basically. Well, not swim back, but we'll see how, how I make my way back. 
We just drain the water all the way so we can hook into the boat. Then onto the boat, and then we just do that. And then we jump over here. Just, uh, I think it was like paper or something that you can collect, but I'm not going to collect that. I'm not going to collect everything. That's crafting material. Okay, there we go. Now we have the water completely drained now. So before I go and see what skill that we're going to be unlocking, I'm going to go grab this document real quick. That's the last of them. This document right here. We cannot. Okay. Now I'm going to go and see what skill that um laid out that the burial is, uh, has. The last grave. I'm going to get these coins real quick while I'm here. Might as well. But yeah, I'm going to see what skill this has to offer here. Get these arrows right here. And there's some more coin. Okay, now we're going to climb all the way up the top here. Let's see what skill we got. Instruction manual for mountaineering. There we go. Now we got one more tomb to raid. Nice. And now we got mountaineer expert. Nice. Okay. Now we can make our way out of here to a fast travel point now. I gotta jump over this trap. Sometimes I forget to uh, jump over the trap and I trigger it. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna fast travel. Not where Jonah is, but to the lookout point. So I'm gonna look for the cliff lookout is what I'm looking for. There it is. There it is, right there. That's where you wanna go. You wanna go to the cathedral courtyard. But we want the cliffside lookout. Let's see if we can find the. There we go. There's this. We want the cliffside lookout, is what we want. Because that's the area that we need our last challenge and we need our last uh, GPS catch. So that's where we're going to go to next. After we get our last challenge in this area done, and our last GPS, then we're going to fast travel back over to where Jonah is. So we can uh, see the next story there, but I'm not going to uh, showcase uh, me going over to Jonah and talking to Jonah because it's, there's no collectibles after that, so I won't be uh, showcasing any of that. Um, and after all that is done, I will be... Uh, Showcasing another video after that in a brand new section, um, we can find remaining collectibles in a different uh, area, basically. So we're going to be in some different areas that we haven't uh, been to before. We're gonna go this way. Hopefully, there's no guys around. You saw the photos. Oh God! Someone there? We've got company. I'm under fire. You're on your six. Darn. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to rifle. I was actually hoping that there wouldn't be wouldn't be any uh you know. I was hoping there wouldn't be any bad guys <laughs> in this area, but I was wrong. There was, but that's okay. I dealt with them. There's not usually bad guys in this section when I'm here. 
fast traveling, but I dealt with them accordingly. So all's good. Okay. So we're gonna go this way, and before we pick up these pumpkins, which they call them gourds, um, we're gonna get this GPS, which I'm pretty sure you can see it blinking. Pardon me. Okay, now we're gonna pick up these gourds, and we're gonna do this uh, gourd challenge here. And I like to use my instinct because it helps me find find these um, a little more easily. I don't know why it keeps going. I don't know why it keeps going going towards that bark there. It's really weird. There we go. But I like to use the instinct. It helps me find them and, and everything. Another one over here? Okay, there's one over here. Okay. This helps me find them. Oh, a little short. That's okay. But yeah, I use the instinct to kind of help me find these. So I can, uh, you know. Try not to get that tree in the way. Man, I'm having a hard time getting that over there tree is not making things easier. Nope. Tree is making things so much difficult. Nope, couldn't get it in there either. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. But yeah, it's gonna take a couple of tries to probably get these uh, in there, but you just gotta keep trying. There we go. I keep trying. Um, and, these, and sometimes the pumpkins will show up, but uh, I found out is just look for the pumpkins that you just, you know, threw and kind of shoot a couple of them. And that, see right there, it, should, it pop, they pop up for you. So yeah, just find the pumpkins that you kind of like, uh, missed. <laughs> and, uh... There's one right here that I missed. But yeah, just look for those pumpkins that you kind of missed, and, uh, they'll show up. More pumpkins will show up just like that. So I found out they're not showing up after you toss them in. And I just used the instinct to kind of help me find it. And that fell out, but that's okay. Yeah, I kind of used the instinct to kind of help me, uh, locate where it is. It is kind of hard to see uh, see them, but like I say, if it takes you, it might take you a couple of tries just to get one in, which is okay. And I'm gotta go a little bit more further. Gosh, can't see very well. No, I still couldn't get it in. This one's a little more trickier because it's you got these little things in the way, so it makes it hard to. See where you're aiming half the time. And I can never tell if I'm aiming on top. There we go. Or not. Okay, now we got that one done. So now we're going to make this one right here. I'm using instinct there. Makes it easier to see it and find it. Okay. There we go. I feel like I got that one in one try. Okay, now we got to go to the last one. And then, like I said, it might take you a couple of times, but just keep trying, and instinct does kind of help with your aiming and stuff like that, and that way you know where it is. That's why I kind of use it to kind of help, you know, help see where I'm aiming and stuff and, and everything. There we go. One try. There we go. We got tossing boards done. So, I'm going to go ahead and make my way um, back to Jonah, basically, and I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll see you guys in the next um, area later on, and uh, we'll get more collectibles done. I believe we just about have every single collectible, just about, in the sections we've already visited, and then we're going to have some new sections later on, so I'll show you guys those as well. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out in this part of the um, section of the collectible area. 
So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.